dreamt, my beloved Alicia, that I was walking with you and I thought I was going to be arrested. I hope to God that there's nothing the matter with you, my darling tender wife, or that of our dear boy. My darling tender wife, I'm reading Proverbs, wait until midnight the Sabbath, that I might kiss your picture as usual. Trolls caught three seamen and the boy in the woman's cap. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice the wife of thy youth. Good God, the scene of Hortum is going on in the woman's cap. Very hot this night. Captain Shade today did one of the kangaroos. It is the most curious animal I ever saw. And there, behold, he met him, a woman with an attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. So she caught him and kissed him with an impudent face. I felt it with a toothache, my dear wife. My God, the pain. So she caught him and kissed him with an impudent face. I have perfumed my bed with my I perfume my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Sarah McCormick's flogged today for calling the doctor at midnight. This big midnight. Took your picture out of his prison and kissed it. God bless you, my sweet woman. Uh, oh, forgive me, sir. Please forgive me. I didn't mean to disturb your prayers. I say fifty Hail Marys, fifty Hail Marys myself every night, and two hundred on the day. What do you I want? Went, I'll wait quietly, sir. Don't mind me. Why do the camp of this hour? I should be. God forgive me. I should be, but I'm not. I'm here. I have to have a word with you, sir. Get back to the camp immediately. I will speak to you in the morning. Cat. Don't call me that, sir. I beg of you, don't call me by that name. That's what I came to see you about. I was about to go to sleep. I understand, sir, and your soul in peace. I won't take up your time. I'll be brief. Well? Oh, don't you want to, don't you want to finish your prayers? I can be very quiet. Get on with it. I used to watch me mother say her prayers every night. When I say my prayers, I have a terrible doubt. How can I be sure God's forgiving me? What if he will forgive me but hasn't forgiven me yet? That's why I don't want to die, sir. That's why I can't die. Not until I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm not a convict. I, I, I don't sin. To be sure. Forgive me, sir, but if we're in God's power, then surely he makes us sin. I was given a guardian angel when I was born, like all good Catholics. Why didn't my guardian angel look after me better? But I think he must have stayed in Ireland. <laughs> I think the devil tempted me mother to London and both our guardian angels stayed behind. Why are you coming? I'm coming to that. Hurry up! I'm speaking to yes. James! Sir! James, Daniel, Patrick, after me three uncles. Good men they were too. Didn't go to London. If my mother had brought us to London, may God give peace to her soul and breed pity that our hearts are hard women. Because the docks are in London, and if I hadn't worked on the docks on that day, May 23rd, 1785, do you remember it, sir? Shadwell Dock. If only we hadn't left, then I wouldn't have been there. Then nothing would have happened. I wouldn't have become a coal heaver on Shadwell Dock and been there on the 23rd of May when we refused to unload because they were paying us so badly, sir. I wasn't even near the sailor who got killed. He shouldn't have done the unloading. That was wrong of the sailors. But, but I didn't kill him. Maybe one blow, not to look stupid, you know, just so I was with the lads, even if I wasn't. But I didn't kill him. And they caught five at random, sir. And when they said to me later, 
You can hang or you can give their names. What was I to do? What would you have done, sir? I wouldn't have been in that situation, Freeman. To be sure. Forgive me, sir. I only told on the ones I saw. I didn't tell anything that wasn't true. Death is a horrible thing. That poor sailor. Freeman, you're going to bed now. I understand, sir, I understand. And what had happened again here? I had hopes of making a good life here. It's because I'm so friendly, see, so I go along and then I'm the one who gets caught. <laughs> that theft, I didn't do it. I was just there keeping a lookout to help some friends, you know, but when they say to you, hang or be hanged, what do you do? I tried to do it well. God had mercy on the horde, the thief, the lame. Surely he'll forgive the hang. It's the women. They're without mercy, sir. Not like you and me, sir. Men. What I wanted to say, sir, is that I heard them talking about the play. Some players came into our village once. They were loved like the angels, Lieutenant. Like the angels. And the way the women watched them, the light of a spring dawn in their eyes. Lieutenant, I want to be an actor. <laughs> 